everybody, uh, KGB here. I got a little bit of work to do in here, but a fellow DEN member uh, asked me an electrical question today, and uh, I'm not very good at writing things down or typing, so I told him I'd do a small little video for him um, going over uh, my lighting controller. He has uh, recently got a Four light, 30 amp controller. Um, I don't know what brand it is, but basically that's the same thing I have. I have an autopilot, 4,000 watt, 30 amp, uh, four uh, fixture controller, basically. Um, it's 240 volts, and uh, his question basically dealt with um, the cord that comes out of the uh, ballast that he has. It's just a regular cord, and he and he was. You know, wondering he didn't want to burn up his ballast. He wanted to make sure that you know he's going to wire him uh, 240, but he didn't, was, wasn't sure if the if the uh, cord would work. And for these ballasts, they're they're dual voltage, like that. These are 120, 240 volt uh, digital ballasts, and they're, these are mine are Lumitech. Uh, but basically, um, they have a regular cord on. It looks like any cord that will plug into your uh, receptacle. But the receptacle itself is wired with 240 volts versus 120 volts. And most receptacles that you have in your home are actually dual, dual voltage rated uh, up to, actually they're voltage rated up to 277 volts. Uh, because on, uh, on some systems, not in America, mind you, but on some systems you have a 200, 277 volt single phase uh, plug. And as long as you don't exceed the amperage rating, which is how they uh, rate equipment. You know, you buy a 15 amp receptacle, or you buy a 20 amp receptacle, or you buy a uh, 30 amp receptacle, or 40 or 50. They all have different configurations, and they all have different sizes of little bus bars in there that, uh, that can handle that amperage. So, anyways, long story short, I'm not going to unplug my stuff because the lights are on in here. Um, but basically, on both sides of my autopilot box up there, there's a receptacle. And I believe they're 20 amp receptacles. Um, and they're both wired with 240 volts. So you have one on this side over here, uh, right there, and then you have one on the other side over there. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna pull that cover off and, uh, and uh, show you inside of it, kind of explain it, and explain it to a little more detail how it's wired up and how it works. That way he can you know, be a little more sure of uh, how it's wired and it's wired correctly and it's not going to burn or fry up any of his equipment. Um, Mr. Tide has already gone over uh, mounting practices for ballast, but I kind of wanted to go over it again just in case, but these mount, these, uh, these ballasts are mounted in a certain fashion. They have cooling fans in them and it's drawing cool air from underneath and blowing it out the top. And uh, I'll get over there and show that to you also. Uh, when I'm over there looking at the autopilot box. So, um, I think that's it for now. Uh, let me get up there and take that off and I'll be back in one second. All right, so we're looking at the bottom of the uh, Lumitech ballast. Oh, I'm sorry, these aren't Lumitech. They're extra sun ballast, my bad. Anyways. They're digital ballasts and they have fans in them and they draw air in here and they blow it at the top. So that way, since air rises, you want to you want to mount them so that the hot air being ejected ejects out the top. Okay, so uh, that's why these are mounted that way. And then uh, this is where the power feed comes in for this box. It is a uh, number 10 gauge, uh, three wire with ground is what it's called. So it's got two hots, you can see the black and the red, those are both hots. It's got a ground wire and there's a neutral or a white wire not being used. I'm an electrician, I had this laying around, so uh, this is what I used. Um, I didn't want to go out and buy stuff when I had stuff I could use laying around. So. Um, and as you can see, inside of the box has a relay, 
30 amp relay, two pole relay. All right, your power feed comes from your power panel up into these two lugs. All right, and let's take a look at the top uh, from the top real quick. What we're looking at now is the top of that 30 amp uh, relay, and you can see two wires coming out of one side and two wires coming out of the other side, and basically those are going to the receptacles. So that means each each wire or each receptacle is being wired 240, and then this contactor is controlled with, by this these wires. which is controlled by this timer, which is a junk timer. It works, but I want to get a digital one. So, anyways, you see how this is wired. You bring your power wire in, two hots, and your ground. And then this box itself should already be pre-wired, so all you gotta do is plug in your your ballast and your ballast, as long as they're dual rated, as long as they're dual rated, they uh, they will be fine. You won't have to worry about it. So, anyways, man, Kentucky Stoner. I hope that helps. Anybody, any of you other Den members, you know, have any electrical questions or anything? Feel free to uh, to ask them, and I'll do my best to either respond, you know, in comment or in kind, or reply to the email or, or however, or I'll make a video if that's just uh, easier for me to do. So, um, if you have any more questions, man, hit me up, brother. Peace.